Mark, we didn't speak to you after the game Saturday. You, you put Neil out, but how much momentum can you take from such a good win like you had at Fleetwood? Uh, yeah, we've just got to keep going like we are at the moment. Um, we're, we're playing well. We're, we're, we're playing with a bit of confidence. The work rate in the team's phenomenal at the moment, and that's got to stay the same. Um, you know, we're looking forward to a busy period where everyone will be thinking they can pick up points, and, and we're no different. I, I, and as regards to Saturday, I didn't, I didn't throw Neil out. He, I think you know he, he'd done a lot of work last week and the week before, and I think it's sometimes good to hear a different voice. I think um, you know me and Neil sing from the same hymn sheet most of the time, and um, I think he deserves to speak to the press when we've won every we now and again, rather than me just throw him out there when I do throw him out there sometimes when I don't want to when we've been beaten. But no, Neil's, Neil's a big part of what we do here. And you mentioned obviously that. It's, you know, a lot of games coming up. How yeah. important, though, is it that you go into off the back of a win and on a 10-game unbeaten run? It's, it's good for us because it means we're, we're slowly climbing the table. We're slowly picking up as many points as we'll get into the points all that we want to get to. Um, but, but it's a funny league. Anybody can beat anybody on the day. I think to go 10 games unbeaten is a bit of an achievement in our league right at this moment in time. Um, you know, Fleetwood, five points above us, however many places above us, have lost two more games than us. So it just shows to go what a funny league it is this, this season. All we can do is worry about ourselves, concentrate on our next game. Obviously, in periods like this where you know we had five games in, in a 14-day period, we have to be mindful, we have to have plans in place, and we have to have strategies and thinking about who plays when and do we play the same team, do people need a rest? At what's our training programme? Of course we do, but ultimately, the, the longer term planning is, is for the short term gains of taking each day as it comes. And I suppose there's never a better period for that planning to work than over Christmas, is there? I mean, this is where, it, where it's crucial. Oh, without a doubt. And, it's, and as you say, it's good to go in with a bit of confidence. Of course, of course it is. But, but ultimately, the way the league's gone this season, it doesn't matter. Confidence is, is a good thing, of course, but it almost seems that anybody's able to beat anybody on any given day. So you have to turn up. You know, the last 10 games in particular, we've turned up with the right attitude, the right work rate, um, desire, commitment and everything. And, and that's what's got us results and, and we've just got to make sure that that is exactly the same every game now until the end of the season, but particularly over the next next four games. Up to 11th, four points off the playoffs. I mean, the carrot's there to keep going as well, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, we've got two home games um, against... Decent sides, different sides, um, but teams that, you know, we, we, I spoke last week to some radio station, national radio station, and, and we feel, we go into win every game. We don't mean to draw. We didn't mean to draw at Southend or Hartlepool at home or Newport at home, Rovers at home. We, we go out to win every game. That is our intention. That is our, our mindset. Don't get me wrong, 91st minute or 94th minute against Southend away, we're losing 1-0, you take a draw. Um, we need to win games, we need to keep winning games and, and that will never change here. Yeah. How do you though change draws, particularly at home, into wins at home? Because I suppose you know, that's what's going to get you up even higher. I, I, I don't want to make too big a thing of it you know, right now. I think we've got two games. We've had too many draws without a shed of a doubt. Five or six 2-2 two, two draws is, is, is wrong. But it's happened, we can't do anything about it. Bar learn, bar be better. Um, and not get hung up about it. We can't worry about it. We've just got to make sure that we, we go to, we turn up at one run on Saturday, on, on sorry, Wednesday, with the intentions of being at Exeter, with the know-how to beat Exeter. And winning games like we did at Fleetwood, like we did at Morecambe, and the performances of late will instill belief and confidence into the players, I've, I've no doubt. And what's the routine? Between no, it's a games actually on Thursday. What's the routine between Thursday? Is it Thursday? <laughs> yeah. What's the routine between now and Thursday in terms of actually Christmas yeah, Day training? Uh, yeah, itinerary for us. We're in today. We're in tomorrow. Um, I'll give the boys Christmas Day off. I've, I've always done that. Um, I think it's we have a few travellers, and I think it's important that they spend time in a family. I, I, I trust them. I ask them to look after themselves, to eat the right things, to do the right things. All different managers work in different ways. I know people who are in, people who are off. And is there a right and a wrong way? 
ask me Thursday. You know, I, I trust my players. I'll ask, like I said, I'll ask them to do a little bit by themselves. Cots used to do it for us, and it's something that I that I like. I think I think if you trust them and you, you put a bit of faith in them, on that respect, hopefully you get paid back the, the day after. You know, we we're not going to get any fitter. Um, but I just think for the hassle of getting away for one for for an hour, I think I think we you know we'll, we'll have done our work by by the end of play tomorrow. We'll be ready. Next are obviously just below you in the table. So I mean, although we've spoken about importance of wins, but also important not to lose this because then you stay above them. Yeah, I mean, next is a you know everyone was saying next have made a great start. So you know we're, we're doing something right at the moment. It's a chance for us to to you know increase our points to tell you ahead of them but that said they're a good side you know Paul knows the time of day and I think he's an exceptional lower league manager exceptional manager who's been in the lower leagues I, I, I meant by that um, he's got a really good reputation um, he's got a lot of youngsters in his side who seem to be performing better away from home than, than at home at the moment so we have to be wary and mindful of that um, and, and we will be I know there was lots made of your four-year anniversary here as in charge, but on two of the longest-serving managers in the game, is there any difference when you pick your wits against someone you've come up against so many times? Not really, not really. We know how Paul's teams play. I couldn't tell you what formation he's going to play because he, he likes to change that and fair play to him for that. Um, he's shown tremendous loyalty at, at his club. I'm sure he's had opportunities to move on. He's he's a good manager. Everybody knows that. Everybody, you know, a lot of people talk about him, and, he, and he's an example to us all. And whatever team he puts out, whatever formation they 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 play, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough game because his teams like to play. But we've we've done all right against them of late, so hopefully that can continue too. Injuries? How Steve Elliott? Uh, he won't be available for the Christmas period. Um, Bar that, Kamar's back in training some part today. We won't. It's it's very wet out there, you know. There's, there's puddles and streams everywhere on the training ground. So, uh, w what we'll do today is just just get them going, get the boys who played Saturday going, get the other ones um, just a little bit further up to speed. Um, just keep them topped up. As I say, it's, it's not fitness levels now. It's just about concentration. It's about preparing properly um, and eat, and doing and believing in the right things. And Connor Goldson did very well with his first start on Saturday. Yeah, he did all right. I thought he was good. I thought he was good. Um, I thought the whole team was excellent. I couldn't pick anybody out. I thought Scott made a couple of important saves when we needed him to. Um, Byron was a massive handful at the top end of the pitch. Jermaine did a great job where we played him and then eventually when we put him back up top, just put the icing on the cake on a, what I thought was probably one of our best performances of the season, particularly against a, a, a decent side like Fleetwood. And Kamar? Is he back in training? Or just back in training with a view to. He, I think he did a bit on Friday at West Brom with the with their with their boys um, with the physios. So he's back in to to be in contention for for Thursday. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good Christmas. Cheers, Paul, and yourself and your listeners. Well, I think the, uh, the the game on Saturday confirms what you've been saying all along. That there isn't really any anything to be scared or any outstanding teams head and shoulders above anyone else in this league. Without a shadow of a doubt, John. Without a shadow of a doubt, you know, Fleetwood spent three hundred thousand pounds on a player last year at the end of last season to get out of this division. I'm sure their priority is the league this year. Um, but it's that tight, you know, a couple of defeats and you're, you're seventh or eighth. We, we, we worry about ourselves, you know, I'm, I'm using Fleetwood as a benchmark in terms of, you know, the resources they have, the squad they have. I think they've got a fantastic setup up there. Um, a great place to, it was a good place to go and play football. It was an enjoyable game Saturday. Um, and I just, I think they'll be up there in and around it come the end of the season. That's the only reason I'm using them. I think you know I concentrate on us. We can beat anybody on our, on our given day. And at the minute, 10 games unbeaten says we're doing, the players are doing something right. And um, long may continue. Yeah, you're just within striking distance now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not too worried at the minute. I just want to make sure, you know, what we've said for the last six weeks is we, you know, after a poor start, you know, everyone's seen it as a poor start, and, and me included. I think there's only four teams who've lost less games than us in the division. We've conceded far too many goals, that said. Um, we can't make giant leaps 
in one game. We can't go four places, five places up a league because we're not. We haven't put ourselves in that position. Uh, uh, work over the last six weeks has been to put us in a position come the new year to make sure that we can try and make an impact on on the top seven, and, and, th and that's that's all it's been about. Game at a time. We know we can't win. We can't move up too many places. Saturday or Tuesday or you know, Thursday this week or whatever. But it's been about the longer term goal come January that that we're in a position to to strike and and be ready to kick on. Yeah, David Noble's only got a couple of games, two or three games left before his uh, four games. Yeah. Four games before yeah. his first loan spells up. Is that yeah. looking like it's going to be able to? I've spoken to Steve and and I'm just waiting for him to come back to me. Um, as a, you know, as and when. So it was a really good conversation. Um, I think Dave's been fantastic for us. Um, and we'll just see where we go over the next couple of weeks. He, he seems to want to stay, doesn't he? Oh, he's, he's definitely keen to, to extend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And he's, he's becoming a. He's becoming a big part of us. Yeah, 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 absolutely.